We are standing in front of the Nordyke Road Bridge. This bridge doesn't meet our current safety standard requirements anymore, so it's going to be replaced with a concrete bridge that'll go over in the exact same area. This uh, little bridge may look quite ordinary, but it actually has a secret underneath. This bridge was built out of two railroad flatbed cars. There are only 15 bridges like this in Nevada that NDOT maintains, and this is the second oldest one in the state. Two of these railroad cars came from railroads that didn't even really run by here. One came from the St. Louis and San Francisco rail yard, which is all the way in California. It was a useful way for people to reuse salvaged materials when they didn't have a lot of money for new construction. And they adapted it and reused it, and it served uh, this section of road for many, many decades. There's a lot of uh, railroad flatbed cars in the country, but in Nevada, it's pretty unique. Uh, we're known for reusing material because we're a state that doesn't have a lot of natural building material other than stone. Uh, we don't have a lot of wood in much of the areas. And so people were very resourceful in using other materials to make things that they needed. If you look up at the bottom, you can see where the markings are still in place when it served as a railroad car. Up here you'll see SLSF, which stands for St. Louis San Francisco Railroad. And then on the other car, you'll see one as an insignia for the Western Pacific Railroad. You can see up there where the wheels were attached to the bottom of the flatbed car. So there's like a, a chassis and then the wheels came out the same width as the railroad track that it rode on. The reason we care about it is because this is a unique part of our history and this, this physical object has remained through time and this is our history. Mm -hmm.